How to splice Seaguar fluorocarbon leader to threadlock hollow core braided line. My name is Jamie Bruce from Bruce Brothers Charters here in Prince Edward Island, Canada. What I'm going to show you today is how to splice Seaguar 150 fluorocarbon into some Seaguar threadlock hollow core 200 braid. If these splices will hold on the GBFT that we fish up here in Prince Edward Island, uh, they'll hold pretty much anywhere in the world. The first step is, is to heat up your splicing needle. You warm up the end, it's hollow on the inside. And the idea is to warm up the end and you... Thread the leader into hollow core braid with a splicing needle. Then you let it cool and it sticks. As you can see, that's immediately red. It's very hot. Go inside. While I'm letting that cool, this needle is meant from 130 to 150. If you are using 200 pound test Seaguar top shot or fluorocarbon, you need a 200 pound test needle. It's a little bigger in diameter. So match your needle to the diameter of the monofilament. Very, very important. Every hollow core takes a little bit to get it opened up. It's woven very tightly, but if you kind of move it slowly, you'll see that it opens up on the interior. And that's the hollow core part. So the idea is, is to slowly feed the hollow core over the top of the needle. And what I like to do is about nine to 10 feet. Be very careful as you slide the hollow core along your needle that the needle does not pick the sides of the hollow core and come out. If it does, just slowly slide it back, tuck it back under and start again. And you can see that's going fairly easy. I'm going to do a short and condensed version for you today instead of doing the full nine to 10 feet. As you do it, you can see I'm probably going like three quarters of an inch at a time. You shove it down and you take your fingers and you slide that down. So it moves down the edge of the, of the top shot. You're probably asking the question, well, how do you get the needle out? You slowly open up your hollow core. You can see it's, it's, it's all woven and it does open up. You bring it out the edge. Okay, you bring it out the edge and you just pull down and cut it off. I always leave a little bit in the needle because the next time you go to do a splice, you're going to heat that up. I can't pull that out, not a chance. So you heat this up with your, you can use a, a lighter or a match and it'll melt out and it'll clear the interior of your rig and needle so you're ready for the next time. You just pull the hollow core back up over, so now it disappears. The next step would be to take your nine or 10 foot splice, this is a short and condensed version, and put it in either a bucket of fresh water or salt water, if, if you happen to be on the boat at the dock and you gotta replace a top shot, put it in the salt water, just hang it over the side, just to get it wet, and we call that a wet sock. Now comes an important part, and this is your last step. You need your rigging floss. I like to use a waxed floss, which most rigging flosses are. I have seen different types. And you just cut off probably a couple feet. You won't use all of that. And if you have a spooler on the boat, it makes life a lot easier. But if not, you need a hand with an extra guy or two to hold each end of your line. So you take your rig and floss, and this is your last step. I make a little knot in the very end so it doesn't slip. And you start up on your, on your hollow core, about three quarters of an inch, which is fine. And for those that are into the knot tying business, a simple half hitch is all you need. You bring that down tight. This is where the little knot in the end comes. You bring that down tight. Now all I'm going to do is a sequence of half hitches. And you tuck that in underneath. 
so it, it ties it off with pressure. And as I go, you go right next to the very spot you just made your last half inch. As you're making your half hitches, you will create a spiral with every knot that you come up to. As I come to the edge of the hollow core, you'll see some frayed ends. If it gets really long, just trim it back. And if you don't have any help, you can merely tie off your hollow core on something. Just, And you can use a rubber band, a thick heavy rubber band on the other end to tie it off. Go down on your your Seaguar top shot, probably three quarters of an inch again. And this part is really quick because you're not covering hollow core. This is your safety. It's on top of the top shot. It's on top of the hollow core. And it shouldn't go anywhere. So on your last wrap, do two two wraps and pull that in nice and snug this be careful this stuff is sharp it'll cut and I pull it tight like that I'm going to take a knife or your mono cutters and go like that now you can also that is waxed floss you can see the, the spiral it's completely all uniform it's tight, it won't go anywhere. Because it is wax floss, it gets, the tighter you pull, the tighter the, the, the wax comes together and it won't fray. If you do start to see it to fray, just take some pear wax. It's cooking wax you'll find in your kitchen cupboard. It's very simple, and just rub it over it, and then you re-wax it. And that there is the splice. To learn more about Seaguar fluorocarbon, braid, and mono, visit Seaguar.com.